Hey everybody, it's Angel. How's everybody doing? Um, I hope that everybody's doing wonderful. Happy Sunday. I wish you guys a wonderful week ahead. Uh, remember, I know it's Mother's Day next week and I have a Mother's Day sale going on over at Lovely You, which is www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Lovely You, where you can get my fabulous uh, button earrings. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, 20% off. Use the code mom20. It's good until it's good through the ninth. Cause I'll be traveling at the end of the week and the shop will not be closed, but it'll be a little bit on vacation mode. Cause I won't be there to fill orders until the following week. However, I wanted to come to you and tell you guys a little bit about my weight loss journey so far. Y'all know I am always, always on a weight loss journey. Yes. I have been trying to lose weight for a million years. I mean, yeah, long before I was born, I've been trying to lose weight. Now, when I was younger, I was very active and I was I was always a voluptuous. I was always grown. Uh, when I was 11 and 12, I was already 5'7", 1, maybe 140. And, you know, I used to play sports and I had a good body. And then I got paralyzed when I was 12. And after that, I had gained a lot of weight. Obviously, I wasn't moving and da, da, da. Then the weight kept on going. I think when I came to America, when I was 15 years old, I probably weighed maybe 180 or something like that. I was in high school. I was in the 180s. I used to work out in the gym all the time, but I was a big girl. I've worn up to a size, I wear a size 16 in pants now. Um, an 18 is too big, but a 16, although I wear an 18 in shirts, I am top heavy because my boobs, these junks are a 42I. Yes which means I only wear a 42H bra because that's the biggest I can find at Lane Bryant. Anyway, so I've always been big. I've tried Weight Watchers. I've tried everything you can think of. Right now, I am about four or five weeks ago, I weighed in at 263 pounds. The biggest I have ever weighed in was at 275, maybe a year or two ago. During the summer, oh God, I was eating like a pig. I was so heavy. I mean, it was crazy. I could, I could hardly walk. It was so heavy. I was so heavy. Anyway, um, the other day I, I did weigh in at 260 something. Listen, we always try. It's not that we don't try. Sometimes we get bored and we don't stick to our routine and our regimens. Um, sometimes we end up celebrating or not, whether it's a good celebration or a bad celebration and we kill ourselves for food. I am a, I used to be a sneaky eater. I can eat. I Listen, when I tell you that I can eat, I can eat. My belly is huge. I eat too damn much. I love food. I love to cook. I love to cook for people. I love to eat. My favorite food is bread and cheese. I'm from Antigua. That's all we ate. That's not all we ate, but bread and cheese. Oh my God. Especially hot bread with butter and melted cheese. Don't do it to yourself. Bread gets me every time. Any bread, pastries. I'm not much. I don't like too much sweets, but I will eat it. I love cakes, but at a moderation. But bread and cheese, and I love chicken. I love everything. I love everything. I don't think there's no food that I don't like. And so I've eaten and eaten and gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, the problem is sometimes that even as you're getting bigger, you're not changing sizes. And so I've always been, you know, between the 14, 18 range. And I'm like, yeah, but I can't be that much bigger. Anyway, whatever. I've decided that I don't want to be big anymore. Um, I've always wanted to have like a bodybuilder figure, not a, a bodybuilder, the big muscle ones, but the figure ones. I want to have toned arms, toned legs, that type of stuff. Six back. Yes. I'm going to do it. You, you see me? What's today? May 6th? I'm going to do it. Anyway, I've decided again. So last year I started doing the primal diet. That was cool. All meat, vegetables, no rice, no carbs, that type of stuff. It was really cool. I lost some weight, felt good. This time around now, I have decided to just do it. There is no more question, no more if, no more ands, no more buts, no more excuses. I am ready. So for the past couple of weeks, I have been cutting back on what I've been eating, especially in the last 14 days. I think I'm 14 days in today. And it's my team, no bread, 
challenge, my team no meat challenge, all this stuff that's going on. I have lost 15 pounds since a month ago. In the last two weeks that I've been eating healthy, I've lost about seven or eight pounds. I am, listen, and it's not even more about the weight. What I realized last night was when I go to sleep, my chest does not hurt. When I used to go to sleep, my chest used to hurt because of the acid in the food I've been eating. Oh, there's just so much food. Like I'm so full to my neck, just disgusted with myself. I used to feel like I'm going to have a heart attack and die. And it, it's, it's a crazy feeling. And last night I went to bed and I felt so good. I was like, oh my God, I do feel good. My tummy is not, you know, just full and stupid and making me feel like I just want to puke and vomit. Like I felt good. My Look, look at me. I'm glowing from the outside in. I am just feeling amazing from the inside out. Yeah, I'm feeling amazing. Um, I have decided to embark now on a 10-day juice challenge, which is all juice, fresh juices. And a little bit after that, I think a raw food. There was this 21-day program that I think I want to try. Um, I've done things like this before. I've done the master cleanse for 10 days, which was very successful. Um, it's very good if you have a lot of home time and you have someone to really support you. That helps a lot. Um, I've done the raw food thing for a while. That was really successful. So now I just want to put a combination of those together and do what I have to do. So for the past two weeks, all I've been eating is fish. I'll insert some pictures. I'll show you what my dinner's been looking like. Salmon. That's all I eat is salmon. Salmon, Broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, uh, fruits. I've been making smoothies. I mean, it's been exciting. Food has been good. Um, one thing I noticed that I don't eat often enough. Like, I don't get up. Like, now it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't eaten all day. Um, I No, I did have yogurt today. But... I have to start getting up and eating early in the morning. I got to start jump, jump starting my metabolism. I got to drink more water. I have my water here and I drink it. I drink it out the big bottle because it makes me drink more. And then if you have a little bottle, once you drink one, you're like, oh my God, that's too much water. But this one, I could just chug it down and not even pay attention. And also this water is distilled water. I like distilled water better than natural uh, spring water. The distilled water has a higher pH than them, I think. It's a 7.0. And so, you know, you want to veer towards getting your body alkaline. Um, so I've been drinking the distilled water. I've been doing that. I've been doing this. I've been exercising a little bit. Not much. I'm not doing any extra walking. I've been dancing at night, putting on my soca music and getting my whining on, just having so much fun with that. Um, the first time I did it for like 12 minutes. Next time I did it for like 15 minutes and I've been stuck at 15 minutes, but it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. I've been doing my sit-ups. I've been doing, you know, just anything that I can do, I've been doing. I've been a little bit more active. I've been moving. I am doing this this time, and every single day, this is what I do. I go online and I research. I go to bodybuilding.com. I read the articles there. I go on YouTube. I look up weight loss videos before and after. I look for things that are going to motivate me and inspire me to keep on going because we don't have another chance. It's now or never. Why do you want to just sit down and just be lazy and not do shit and just continue to be fat? And there are people who, oh, it's okay. I like me big and bone. Yes, I love me voluptuous too. And the men sure do. But child, I want to feel good on the inside. No matter how much you tell people that you feel good and you look good. We go home at night and in the privacy of our bathrooms, in the privacy of our beds, we feel like shit because I know what it feels like to be fat and heavy. And, and, and I know what it feels like to want to lose weight and can't and not have the support. It's crazy. It's not the easiest thing in the world. It's not. It's not. But once you make your mind up that you're going to do it, there's nothing else that can come into your way. No matter how good of an excuse you give us, why not to lose weight? Well, my thyroid, my this, I'm just big boned. It ain't nobody big boned. I've never seen a fat skeleton. No, you have to want this bad enough. You have to want it for yourself. You have to do it. It's very important. I know what it feels like. I just know what it feels like. I know what it feels like. I've been there. I've done that. I've eaten till I cried. I've, ugh. God bless you. And if you're on a journey as well, I wish you the best. It's not easy. Get up in the morning, pray. Pray over your food. Start creating a different mindset. A different mindset is very important. A different mindset.
yes, I'm doing this. I'm doing this for me. I see the end result. I see my body looking the way that I want it to look. I see me being more active. I see me not being scared to, uh, you know, do things because I'm big. I remember going to Six Flags and the thing couldn't come over my breast and I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed and I had to get off. Um, I don't want that to happen again. And I'm going to Six Flags this year. So I'm just really dedicated right now. I know I've spoken about weight loss on this channel or even on my channel, The Lovely Life, where I'll be posting this video as well. And um, this time I feel different. I feel like now I'm not doing it for, well, he wants me to be sexier or she looks good and I want to look like her. Now I am doing it for me. I'm doing it for the inside. The me that I, on the inside, I'm doing it for that person. Because that me on the inside, I hate how she feels sometimes after I eat bread. And I don't want her to feel like that anymore. I want both of us to be in sync and feel good. And I, I just want to be able to walk and not have to worry about breathing heavy. And I want to have long sex and not after 15 minutes be like, God damn, you ain't tired yet. I, I just want to just feel amazing. And so I'm, I'm, I know it's now May. And many of us made the, the, the decisions to do this in January. And we haven't kept up with it. But you can start today, not tomorrow, but today. You can start right now. You don't have to wait. Okay, I'm going to start on Monday. I'm going to start next Sunday. I'm going to start when I get my check at the end of the month. You don't have to start. No, no, you start now. You cut back on the sweets. You cut back on the bread. You start drinking more water. I haven't tasted juice, soda, or anything in 14 days, and it's been amazing. I haven't tasted bread. I haven't tasted cheese. I haven't tasted potatoes. I stopped with the mayo. Like Those are the things that I thought were contributing to my weight gain and contributing to me just feeling sluggish and nasty. And I've just infused my diet with vegetables and fresh stuff. And I've been feeling amazing eating beans and eggs and just God bless you. I don't want to make this video any longer. I'll keep you guys updated. So I'm 15 pounds down. I'm excited about that. Just go wing forward. 14 pounds down. Yeah, 14 or 15 pounds down. And um, I, my book... I have a book that I write in and I have a weight loss section and that's all I do in my book is this is all just weight loss notes that I've been writing down and things that I want to eat and my desires and you know there's no excuse and failure and I'm just writing that how I'm feeling and I'm really excited guys get a book and start writing things down God bless each and every one of you um take care I love you guys be good Stay strong, pray, and you can do this. I believe in you.